Hey, welcome back to my shop. And welcome back to the multi-part series on inlay. I'm going to show you in a few easy steps how to go from here to there. This is part three. like what we did the first time we taped this up. Remember we've got paper tape on one side which I have facing down. I'm going to use some scotch tape to piece these together from the back. I'm just going to be careful to carry that out all the way to the end so I've got a good tight joint along that central line. Then we're going to flip these over and paper tape and it doesn't matter if you overlap here this is pretty thin tape and it won't make a difference. What I'm using for a board right now is a piece of uh, quarter inch MDF. I've got a piece of uh, that bookbinders uh, cardboard and then a piece of butcher paper. We'll just gently score this along the scotch tape. flip these over and what we're going to do now is apply paper tape again. I'll do just one. We'll turn the camera off and uh, pick it up after that's done. So I'm using the same technique. I've got a PVC pipe cap with the uh, paper towel folded up in it. We'll go ahead and get that wet. Go both directions so that tape is nice and wet. And just like last time, we'll tape this packet down, use our brass brush, smooth down that tape. So take again three pieces of tape for these four inch squares. And again, this is going to change depending upon the pattern that you're ultimately using. But the technique is the same. Again, that brass brush really sticks it down tight. And then I just, for added security, use my seam roller. All right, I'm going to do this with um, all four pieces. And then uh, once I get that done, we'll turn the camera back on and move forward. OK, we want to match these two together so that we can mount them in the template guide. We're going to end up cutting two leaves just like this in one cut. And it's important to stick these two together so that as you're cutting through that they don't slide and move and get nicked by the router. And the way I do that is just apply a couple of pieces of just double stick tape to the back of the top one. And then, so there's the double stick tape. We're going to make sure that these points are lined up as best we can. And then I'm going to just check down here. 
that those two points are lined up, which they are. We'll stick that together and we'll hold the corners together with a little clear tape. All right, now we're ready to mount that in the router template guide. So there's the base and the top. We're going to go over how to make this in a separate part. What we want to do now is to mount this underneath and align the vane up so that it's going to match the leaf motif. The way you do that is put a piece of two inch packing tape on the outside back corner This is a little awkward because I'm doing this again in between the uh, um, tripod. But what I'm going to do is to line up the central vein. And this is going to vary depending upon the motif that you're doing. But on this motif, I want to make sure that that central vein kind of ends right where that stem is. And up here, I want to get it so that it's midway between these two points. And then I'll just come around the back. I moved it a little bit come around the back and just stick it down. And then I'll put another piece of tape on the opposite side. So my packet is now taped to the back of this guide and all my points line up. Now I'm ready to make this with the base. And I made a little mark here. I'm sure these holes are going to vary depending upon the orientation, but this is always the left front. And got my screws. These are just small flathead square drive screws. I'll go ahead and load the, so they're sticking out, just load the screws on the top. And then I just use my uh, drill And once you've done this a few times, these are pretty easy to put together. So now I'm going to just mate the bottom up with the top, line up the screws. And we'll take the drill and just drive them through a little bit into the back so they're sticking out again. I know this seems like a little bit of a cumbersome process, but it actually goes much quicker than it looks. All right. Now this gets mounted to a piece of plywood that then I can clamp down to my bench. And again, I've made that same little mark so I know where the left front is, and I'll just line that up. And we'll screw that down. Sorry for the reach there. So what we've done is mounted that veneer set in between these two pieces of MDF. It's firmly clamped down in there. The pieces aren't going to slide around because they're held in place with double stick tape. And the veneer is not going to chip out, especially the very delicate tip, because it's reinforced with paper tape. So that's what we have mounted in there, just like that. So the next step is to mount this down onto the bench, use the router to cut out this piece, and then use this top piece to cut out the recess that will mount the leaf. We will end up with that leaf, and we'll be able to mount it in the recess. <laughs>